is Jess here with Blush Jess. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm hiding out in the bathroom so I can actually um, have words and you can hear me. <laughs> so, today is Friday and it is, let's see, June 23rd, I believe. Um, I did not film, actually I did film a bunch yesterday, but I ended up not posting it. <sighs> yesterday was epic fail on every single way it could be. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to laugh, you know? Um, every clip of the video is kids screaming. I mean, not just like their normal, you know, it was just bad. Nate was in a really bad mood. We've had lots of tantrums. We probably had 20 potty accidents. I am not exaggerating with him. Um, I don't know what, I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. Layla's just coming in. Um, it was just a bad day. He acted out. Lucy was in a bad mood. Um, we had really bad weather, so I don't know if it was that. I don't know if they just felt really cooped up. I don't know, but it was a bad day. Um, and so I did terrible because I ate my emotions. Um, it's so hard. I am not going to beat myself up about it. I'm just going to move on. Today is a brand new day. Um, there's nothing I can say. I did good until about lunchtime, and then with all the craziness with the kids, I just stopped caring. And I finished the day with Taco Bell, which is not a good way to finish the day. So I'm just gonna forget that happened, and I'm gonna move forward starting from right now. So I'm sorry I didn't post, but you would not have enjoyed that video. <laughs> it was so bad that I called David like crying throughout the day. I have a lot of stuff I want to get done, a lot of um, cleaning I need to do. I, I did not get anything done yesterday because as soon as I turned around, somebody else was throwing a fit. I mean, it was just all day. So David came home I and mean, he didn't get home till like 8.30 last night. He was so sweet. He, let, he took the kids and helped me get them down and then he let me get a hot bath and he gave me a little back ma massage and let me go to bed early and that made all the difference but it was just a bad day so also we had a little uh, tornado warning so let me just to tell you what happened with that um we're in the bathroom that's where we were all day yesterday sitting there with Nate and I my phone starts going off and I'm like what's the deal and I had been seeing all day that there was a tornado in Birmingham where I'm from. Everybody, you know, all my friends and stuff were posting about Birmingham's tornadoes. I had no idea that we had, were having bad weather because it wasn't raining or anything. It was kind of overcast. Um, so I got an alert on my phone and it said tornado warning in your area. A tornado has been spotted. Take shelter immediately. I was like, what? <laughs> um, we're on the second floor of an apartment. I'm home by myself. Um, I'm looking out the window. I don't really see, you know, any kind of storm, but I don't play with tornadoes. Like, I am from in, uh, Alabama, and there is tons of tornadoes there, and it's, I, I don't play with them. And so I was like, I do not like this. And so I called David, and he's like, well, just hang on. You know, let's get some more information. It's probably just like a countywide thing. Um, well then not 10 minutes later, we heard sirens going off. I heard sirens going off outside and I was like, I'm not, I'm not sitting in this apartment. <laughs> well, I'm going to take, and it wasn't raining yet when I decided I'm just going to go up to the clubhouse because it, we live pretty close and, um, at least that's a bottom floor and I think that's my best option. I'm not going to go knock on someone's door down below and all that because I don't know what kind of situation I'll be bringing my kids into, you know, you just don't know. So, um, by the time we got our shoes on, by the time we got our shoes on, what do you need, Nate? Yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. Kids. Um, <laughs> it's not going to be another day like yesterday. I'm just believing that. So, by the time we got all of our shoes on and got the diaper bag and everything, and we got outside to walk down to the clubhouse, it was starting to rain. So, I had the umbrella. In all the panic, I couldn't find Lucy's shoes, and um, so I'm holding her in the umbrella and Nate and his Kindle, <laughs> and we ran, you know, like, you know, for our lives. <laughs> I, I mean, I knew, like, we probably weren't going to get blown away. I knew it was probably just, you know, we need to take cover, but it's probably not going to be in our exact area, so... But we, I wanted to be safe, so we ran down there, and people are just like, 
la di da um i get down to the clubhouse they're giving tours of apartments there's like people in there about to leave to go to do a tour there's people in the swimming pool you guys the sirens are going off you can hear them and so I tell the manager, I'm like, um, cause she's like, you know, how may I help you? And I'm like, um, we don't want to be on the second floor when there's a tornado warning and <laughs> there's sirens going off. And she's like, is it an actual tornado? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm assuming since there's sirens and an alert on my phone. And so I'm just sitting there. I'm like, well, we're just getting, she kind of blew me off. I'm like, well, we're just going to sit here. They had a TV on with the weather and the lobby and because I, I guess it had broken through all the stations um coverage of the weather <laughs> so me and the kids just sit there in the lobby and i'm like you know i can't believe there's people in the pool but she just kind of blew me off and so i was like all right whatever um we were in there 10 minutes and this lady comes i mean she threw the door open to the clubhouse she comes e e barging <laughs> and she yells to the manager she's like why in the blank insert a word there that i'm not going to say would you not have these kids and these people out of the pool it's a tornado warning you need to get your act together and she just went off on this lady and she's like you're going to be responsible if something happens to these kids you have lost your mind if you don't take this seriously I was like, yeah, you go. Cause I wasn't going to be that forceful, but apparently she was. And so the, the manager's like, those kids aren't going to listen to a word I say. And I guess she's talking about the kids in the pool. And, and the lady's like, oh, they're going to listen to me. And so she went out there and she's like, every kid out of this pool now. And she like drug them in. And she's like, all of you go home now. And don't ever be so stupid again. And so I was like, oh my gosh. Um, she probably didn't have to be so forceful, but it was, I was laughing so hard. And, um, you know, she was totally right. You don't need to be doing that kind of stuff when there's a freaking tornado. I just couldn't believe that. But, oh my gosh, it was so funny. So we waited there about 20 or 30 minutes and then they lifted the warning and we came home. But I just couldn't believe that. Who, who does that? Who, who swims? Now, there was kids out there, but there was also, like, older kids slash adults out there. Now, there wasn't any, like, probably my age or older, but um, they should have known better. And those managers should have done something by it. <laughs> that lady. I'm glad she showed up because I wasn't going to, I mean, I, I made my concerns known to the manager, but um, she really got <laughs> the point across. Anyway, I was like, you go. So anyway, we're all safe. We're all fine. Yesterday was a bad day. Moving on. So today I have had a cup of coffee. Just finished it. With two tablespoons of fat-free half and half, one tablespoon of sugar-free hazelnut. So that's one point. And then I had one of those. Have you seen, have you guys had these um, Sandwich Brothers egg white turkey sausage and cheese little pitas? I'll show you the box later. I don't want to go out there because they're going to count on there. Oh, you won't be able to hear me. Um, those are four points. They're so good. I actually got a coupon for a free box, and so that's the ones I tried. I've had the cheeseburger ones and the chicken melts, and those are both okay too, but the, the egg and sausage one I think are the best ones I've had. So that's four points with a coffee that's five. So our plan is I need to go to Walmart I gotta get Nate some more Zyrtec. We're out of Kleenex and Lucy's nose is running. I'm gonna get a couple of groceries. My friend and her family are on their way from Texas, so that's super exciting. And we can't wait to see them. So they should be here tomorrow. And we're all gonna go to a Braves game with our church, so that'll be fun. But anyway, I will talk to you guys back at lunch. Hey guys, we are home from Walmart. I'm gonna show you what we got. That was not a good trip. Lucy was acting up. Nate had a full-blown meltdown in the store where everybody was staring at us. <sighs> Sometimes it's just really hard. You know? It's just hard. But we made it home. We got it. I got him somewhat calmed down. It took me a little while and a lot of people were staring at us. And it's just hard for me because I hate that, you know? <laughs> And I want to always have everything under control. And I can't with him right now. He just. 
it's just hard. <laughs> I'm not gonna just sit here and cry, but um, I wanted to express the emotion so I don't eat the emotion. <laughs> I spent like $50 at Walmart we needed to get, and I forgot my list in the car. So I hope I didn't forget anything and I didn't look back over it. So let me just show you real quick what we got. I have so much housework I need to be getting done and that hasn't happened today. So here is what we got. Nothing too exciting. Um, they have redone their Parents' Choice wipes and they're 99% water now, which I think is awesome. Um, these are the sensitive with aloe. So we like having those around the house. Yeah. These looked good. I think they're three or four points. I haven't scanned yeah. them. Um, I love these honey wheat pretzels. I haven't had them in a while. Got a big bag of veggie straws. David was out of these little frozen lunches he likes to take to work. So I got a cheeseburger macaroni, a penne with white chicken, and a five cheese ziti. Um, I haven't seen this variety pack. It was a little bit cheaper than buying them individually, and we love the Hawaiian punch. The only thing I don't like is it doesn't come with our favorite, which is the lemon berry squeeze, but anyway, still good. Nate likes these, so I got him some. I haven't bought them in a while. Okay. Um, these spoons are really good for Nate to use. He has a hard time sometimes with spoons, but these have been really nice, and we only have three, so I went ahead and got another three. I needed some more fat-free mozzarella. I think I'm gonna have a pizza for lunch. I'm trying to branch the kids out on what they'll eat for breakfast. They used to eat pancakes all the time and now they won't. So I thought I would try these little mini ones because right now it's French toast and cereal bar and that's about it for breakfast. So I'm trying to branch them out slowly. Um, I got a big thing of shredded lettuce. I'm gonna do taco salads or tacos or something like that tonight. I like buying things from Aldi, but I didn't want to go to two stores and we're almost out. So I got another thing of the Honey Breast Tenders. Both of the kids really like those. Nate was out of Zyrtec, so, so we just use the Equate brand. With that, we already had to break into these. Lucy's nose is constantly running, so some Kleenex. And then we needed trash bags. And these were actually about the same price as the Walmart brand. And I like them because they are really strong and they don't break. So this is the Citrus Twist. And that actually smells really good. So that's what $54 looks like. And we'll see you guys back when we have lunch. Hey guys, so everybody is calmer now and we're settled down. You know, <laughs> I'm sorry to get emotional sometimes on you guys. Just It's nice to be able to talk to someone. <laughs> and just a bit a little bit so thank you for listening we survived walmart you know what at the end of the day i'm never gonna see those people again and they can think whatever they want that is what i want to challenge all of you for <laughs> when you see kids out in public or even adults or you know so I, I i have seen so much judgment lately like there was this um post today on facebook like I can't believe parents would let their kids play on their cell phones or use tablets. They're ruining their brains and all of this. I'm like, you know what? You don't know. <laughs> you don't know every situation. You don't know every type of child out there. If it wasn't for electronics with Nate, I would not get even five seconds of happiness <laughs> sometimes. You know, like I really try to limit his um kindle usage and you know phones and tv and stuff and 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 have one-on-one -on -one time with him but that is very important to him and to us and that is how he, we've been able to communicate with him like you don't know and so when people are out in public and you know their kids aren't behaving a certain way or you know they're being rude to you or whatever like i always try to just give them the benefit of the doubt because you don't know the situation that they're in you don't know if they have a disability. You don't know if they had a really bad day, if they got a cancer diagnosis or whatever. You just don't know. So I really try to think, you know what? Maybe maybe they have something going on in their life. Maybe this kid that's screaming, <laughs> you know, is sick. Or maybe they, you know, you just don't know. You just don't know. So um, it's hard going out sometimes because I feel like people look at you like, you get these looks like, why don't you discipline your kids? You know, you're doing something wrong. And I'm not. <laughs> you know, you don't know the situation. So um, just a little friendly reminder. You just don't know what another mom is going through. She could have been up for 
you know, two days in a row, you know, she's just getting out of the house. You know, we could just stay home and just look at each other all the time, but I'm not gonna do that. And I feel like the more we go and do, the better for everybody. So, friendly little reminder. Let's just be nice to each other, you know? Let's just be nice, so. Anyways, I made lunch. I just had an apple. It's two o'clock. I had an apple about 30 minutes ago while this was cooking. I made my flatbread pizza. I'm sorry if you can hear the dryer in the background. So this is a Aldi Fit and Active flatbread. That is two points. I also put, for the first time, I haven't done this in a while, I put one teaspoon of this Philadelphia two times the protein cream cheese. One teaspoon is zero smart points. I just kind of did a really thin layer. I measured it out with a teaspoon and then just kind of smeared it around. So that's zero. I have one point of pizza sauce. I have one point of fat-free mozzarella cheese. That's two ounces. And then I have 14 turkey pepperoni. So this whole pizza is only five smart points. So I will see you guys back at snack time. Hey y'all, it is 4.10. We are having a snack. Everyone is having a snack, so I had to join in. <laughs> um, I'm actually pretty hungry, so this and is a... Yeah, you're looking at my phone. Um, this is a one-point cup of coffee. It has two tablespoons of sugar-free hazelnut, one tablespoon of fat-free half-and-half, and then I'm going to have a serving of these, which is 30 grams, and it is four smart points. It actually isn't, it doesn't look like much for four points, but these are really like super crunchy and they kind of take a while to eat. So it's a pretty good little snack. And before long, it's going to be time to get dinner going and all that. So I'm just going to sit down for a minute and Lucy's looking at my phone for just a few minutes and trying to wake up a little bit and we're going to get going on our night. So we'll see you back at dinner. Okay, everybody, here is what's for dinner. <laughs> Nate sprawled on the floor. So I have a taco salad here. I have a bunch of lettuce for zero. I have three points of taco meat. I have four points of shredded cheese. I have four points of crunched up Doritos. I have zero points of fat-free cheese and some zero-point hot sauce. So everything is 11 for this humongous salad. And then I think we're going to eat and then go down to the P-O-O-O -O -O in a little while. So I'll see you guys back later. You guys, so it is almost eight. Um, we got dressed for the pool, or I got dressed, and I was like, you know what? As soon as I got dressed, I looked out the window because it was like so sunny, and I looked out the window and it was like a storm <laughs> rolling in. So I was like, um, let's look up the weather, and it was like a thunderstorm. So kids were not very happy because they saw me in a swimsuit. I had no idea that it was going to be stormy, so we didn't get to go swimming. Did not go over well with Nate. Um, anyway, we're about to put them to bed, and I sent David to go get a red box. We're going to rent Beauty and the Beast, which I saw, but he hasn't seen. It's so good. So I sent him to get Halo Top and Red Box. I have nine smart points left, so I have plenty of room for Halo Top. So I'm going to end the video here. My friend and her family are in Alabama, so they are not far from us now. I think they're probably like five or six hours. They're stopping for the night. We will see them tomorrow afternoon. So that's super exciting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. If I have like eight, I don't know if I'm going to eat a whole thing of Halo Top. I'll probably finish the day with the next four or five points and then just call it a day. But taco salad is one of my favorites, so... It's very filling. I've done good on my water today. I've done okay on my stuff. It's not great. I've got to get back to the gym, get back in a routine with that. But for right now, um, I don't know. I just don't feel it. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> it's really not good. Um, I'm going to get like back on it, you know. I've just been kind of struggling lately, but I thought I heard Nate. Anyway, I'm going to go check on him, and I will see you guys tomorrow. For another exciting day, we're going to go to a Braves game tomorrow. We're going to go to, um, where my friends are going to meet us there. It's going to be really exciting. So I hope to film tomorrow. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. And I will see you all later.